With this video, we will show you the first question of the impact and follow-up part of the CA 210 project. How will you know if the project has achieved its objectives? What tools or methods will you use? I will answer the part. Of course, the answer to the question varies from project to project. The aim of the project is to make an impact on the target groups and produce changes in their current behavior. Our main objectives are to decrease the number of consumers of fast food in our schools by at least 50% after the two project years. To raise the awareness of at least 70% of participants about the principles of healthy eating. To increase physical activity to a minimum of one hour per day for 60% of students. To improve communication skills, interpersonal skills and self-confidence in a European environment of at least 65% of participants. To exchange ideas and practices with other European schools in order for teachers to produce one brochure for students and parents and one brochure for schools. To develop the knowledge about the diversity of European sports and cultures of at least 70% participants. In order to assess the extent to which we have managed to reach the proposed objectives we will use a variety of tools and instruments. 1. Initial and final questionnaires applied on participants by each partner, to measure changes in behavior and approach to healthy habits, to measure objectives 1, 2, 3. The questionnaires contain very clear questions which facilitate the accurate measurement of the pre- and post-project reality. 2. Initial and final questionnaires applied on the target group by all partners, to measure O103 at the level of the entire target group and indirectly the efficiency and effectiveness of dissemination by participants. 3. Comparative analysis of pre-exchange and post-exchange journals completed by participants, to observe the medium-term benefits and to measure the systematic changes in behavior after direct participation in exchanges for evaluation forms applied by the host institutions after each exchange to assess objectives four and six the local management meetings held after the exchanges are meant to cross-check the attainment of objectives on the part of participants and the impact of the project on them Students report to the coordinator and also complete self-assessment forms accompanying teachers complete individual evaluation sheets for participants. 5. External evaluation of brochures through online channels and face-to-face -face feedback provided by students, parents, teachers from other schools, applied at the end of the project, to measure objective 5. 